We're going to get started with subscription clubs. First of all, thank you everyone for taking some time out on your Friday morning. I am Brittany Yunker with the Commerce 7 team. I'm joined by Margaret, who will be monitoring. Hi, Margaret. Going to be monitoring um, chat and the, the uh, question and answer um, section as well. So feel free to pop any questions in there and she'll either answer you there or we'll answer it in context or at the end. Um, whatever way we will get your questions answered. So let's dive right in. So we're going to be talking about subscription clubs today. And the reason we're talking about subscription clubs today is because only about 30% of Commerce 7 users currently use subscription clubs. And so we wanted to highlight them, let folks know what they're all about, that they're not scary. Um, you know, we're used to the traditional clubs and we love our traditional clubs, but subscription clubs are kind of cool in particular circumstances. So we just wanted to kind of show what they're all about. Certainly the uh, brewery space embraced them from the very beginning. The winery space has been a little bit slower to, um, to get to know the subscription. So let's go take a look. So a few things we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, one is the difference between traditional and subscription. Secondly, what makes subscription clubs so effective? Um, and hey, why not try it? Let's talk about uh, what it looks like both in Commerce 7 as well, in, in the back end, as well as for the potential member on the front end. And um, you know, a couple of examples where you might wanna try it. All right, traditional versus subscription. So traditional is what we all are very familiar with. They, uh, you know, these, um, they, they ship at very specific times of the year, usually two, three, maybe four times a year, depending on your model. The admin or the club manager creates the package with all of the default items. Um, all of the cards are charged pretty much at once. So you have these spikes in revenue throughout these very specific times of year. And then fulfillment, especially self-fulfillment, but also if you fulfill out of house, um, it's a beast. It is a beast. I know I've done it. And so uh, this is something that's very close to my heart. I, I get it. And so um, it can be, it can be, it can be pretty rough because it's all hands on deck when it's time to do the club. So um, we certainly understand that. Subscriptions on the other hand are very different. So you kind of have to put on a different lens. Um, first of all, when the member first signs up, that very first shipment automatically will be processed two days after sign up. I sign up today, it's going to process on the 26th and get sent out, you know, based on whatever your fulfillment, um, uh, what your fulfillment defines. And then the subsequent shipments happen based on the cadence that the member chose. So while the admin defines what those choices are, the, uh, the member is the one who chooses, oh, I actually want it every other month. I want a new shipment or I want it every three months. Um, so depending on what that is, that is what will happen. So it's much more the customer is in control of what it is that or and when they're shipping. The admin will define a pool of products that then the algorithm called the next neighbor algorithm in Commerce 7 will then, uh, so basically the next neighbor algorithm is it takes a look at the customer's past history. And then it'll take a look at this pool of products that the admin has created. And it's going to look at that and go, oh, I think that based on the history of this member, um, we're going to put these particular wines in the, uh, the default shipment that is going to be created. Now, of course, just like in traditional clubs, the member can go in and change that. You know, if they want to, they can certainly, they'll, they'll get that two week 
prior uh, notification that says, hey, you can go in and you know change it if you want. But the fact is the algorithm is very, very effective. And so um, uh, members will, um, they'll be receiving shipments or default shipments that are more in their flavor profile. So it's just super effective. Revenue is spread out throughout the year instead of these, these, these jumps or these spikes in revenue. So you'll be able to plan a little bit differently or a bit more effectively. And then fulfillment is spread throughout the year. So you don't have that whole all hands on deck. Hey, everybody, you know, if you're not in the tasting room, please come back out to the cellar because we have to pack all these boxes kind of mentality. So uh, that makes it a little bit easier on the winery as well. And then let's take a look at why the subscriptions are effective. So as I mentioned before, only 30% of Commerce 7 clients are currently using the subscription uh, functionality, which is why we're having this webinar today. We wanna to talk about it. Um, the main reasons to do it is we have flexibility. Flexibility is the word of the day when it comes to subscription, both for the customer and for the winery. So it, it's ultimately a really good experience for the member because there's this algorithm in place, right? That, I mean, two of the biggest reasons why people drop out of clubs is because they're not getting what they want in their shipments um, and that they're getting it at, uh, oh, I have too much wine. I, I don't, I, I, this shipment's coming already. I didn't want it. What, you know, and then they go and they cancel. Well, in this case, you're putting both of those things. We're addressing both of those issues head on here. So the algorithm is choosing it for them. Um, so they're getting stuff that they actually will like. And then they choose their cadence, their own cadence, as far as when they want to get the shipment. So that's, that's pretty cool for the customer. And then for the winery, um, the admins are freed up from all of the the big spike of, you know, the prep, the run, the fulfillment that occurs over the course of days, sometimes weeks with really large clubs. Um, there's management of those fulfillment loads. So again, you know, you're not packing and shipping and labeling all of these boxes if you self-fulfill um, all at once. And then you have consistent cash flow throughout the year. So those are the um, those are some of the reasons why it is effective. Let's go ahead and take a look in Commerce 7 to take a look at the club, create one, and then take a look at what it looks like on the front end as your customer. Margaret, any questions yet that we want to address? We do have uh, one question from April. Uh, she's asking, uh, usually the guest wants to take the first shipment the day that they join. How do they do this? Um, so we can go through a demo kind of at the end too, but basically I'm going to send you a link right now, April, with a link for how you can create a club order through the POS. Um, so if you have an existing club uh, that is in the system, you'll see a little pop-up come up for that customer if they're a member of that club. And essentially that will let you mark their order as their first club shipment or as an upcoming club shipment. And then the channel that's recorded on that purchase is club. It's not actually POS. Um, so that's the way that you would accomplish that. And it would be listed in their shipments as well. Um, so I'll send you that link here. Um, I'll send it in the chat as well, just so everybody can see that. Um, and then that way we all have access to it. Awesome. And then uh, go ahead, Brittany. We'll, we'll do the demo of it afterward when you're finished with this. Okay, cool. So I am on the dashboard. We're going to go into the club tab and then we're going to go into subscriptions. I have created a subscription here because I didn't want to uh, waste everybody's time, but we are going into it and looking at the configuration so that you see how it is set up. So initially we have, um, you know, you can certainly you know, name it. And then you have a little teaser here. This is just like in the traditional club. You're basically creating your title and a little teaser that goes above that join button on the front end. But then let's go down here to the subscription itself. I'm gonna click on the pencil so we can see what it looks like. So there are some, uh, some items here that need to be addressed by the admin for this particular subscription club. The first thing I'm actually going, I'm going to hop down here to the frequencies offered. So these are the frequencies that you will offer on the front end that your member or your potential member will be able to choose from. So there's a drop down, and I'm going to go ahead and choose all of them. 
because I want my people to be able to choose whatever the heck they want. But depending on, on your, uh, the, the cadence that your winery and your releases, you may just want to offer uh, two months, uh, three months and four months, let's say, or just six months and 12 months, whatever it might be, you can offer whatever's best for um, your business model. And then up here, we have default frequency. So when someone goes to sign up, and we'll see this in a minute, when someone goes to sign up on the front end, this will be the frequency that defaults. Now they can always go in and edit uh, to a different frequency, but this is the one that defaults when they initially sign up. Minimum number of products is the, is the minimum number of products in each shipment uh, or each package um, that gets sent out. They can certainly add more, but this is the minimum that would be required. And then down here, any coupons that would apply, I'm gonna go ahead and do flat rates flat rate shipping for my club. And then we save the subscription. All right, so that's the configuration piece. Let's head into the items. And this is where you create your pool of items. I have added them here already, but you have a, a search up here where you can add others if you would like. So this is the pool that the algorithm will be pulling from or will be talking to and looking at. Um, now, there are a couple of things to be aware of here. You'll see a default and a minimum. So the default would be if you are wanting to define or, or, or uh, encourage people to have, for instance, I want them to have two of these Chardonnays in their, um, in their shipment. You can default to two of those Chardonnays. Um, and then the rest would be de defined by the, um, by the algorithm. Or if you want to um, force the two bottles of Chardonnay, you would create a minimum. So if you choose a default, it's gonna default just a suggestion to the person. But if it is a minimum, you are forcing that within their shipments or within their package. We believe at Commerce 7 um, that it's always best to leave these alone. Just leave them at zero because the algorithm will populate with what that specific person wants usually. So it's just a really smart way to, um, to let it just ride. But you do have those choices if you would like to. As we take a look at members, um, there are no members in here at the moment with upcoming shipments. There will be in a second when I sign up on the front end. So we'll come back and take a look at that. And then very important inventory. This is going to show you what is going to be, it's going to be a running count of um, orders that are upcoming that are um, uh, using inventory. And then you're running uh, master inventory, which will show you what's available for sale. So you'll be able to compare those two numbers, make sure that you have enough in there for the, uh, the, the shipments that'll be going out. All right, uh, Margaret, anything you wanna call out before I go to the front end and sign up as a customer, as a member? Yeah, I was just going to quickly point out just it's small detail, but on this page specifically, you can also adjust the date of, of the inventory. So if you wanted to see maybe two months, three months out what you would need, you can also adjust that as well. Um, so it's just oh, a small, cool. yeah, it's just a small tool that's really helpful um, because you can only typically see about uh, the members who are processing within two weeks in step three. So if you wanted to have kind of more visibility on what's upcoming, that would give you that flexibility there. Um, so that's all I wanted to mention, but yeah, excited for awesome. the front end display as well. Okay, cool. So let's head out to the front end. Whoops, that's not the front end. That's our documentation. Let's head out to the front end. There we go. So I am on my clubs page. And here is my, uh, my awesome su subscription club. I'm going to go ahead and join. And I am an existing, um, customer. So it does pre-fill with all of my stuff here, which is very, very handy. Um, over on the right here, you have kind of a summary of 
you know, oh, you're in control. It's, it's giving you all the information that you need. You see that there is the two month um, default that we defined in uh, admin. And then as we go down here, it says you won't be charged until your first shipment, June 26th. Again, two days after. So today's the 24th, it will process on the 26th. Complete my setup. And here we are. Here's the first shipment. As with the traditional club, I can edit these wines if I would like. I can ship it now if I would like. Those are all tools that you're probably familiar with. I can skip the shipment. And here, if I want to change my cadence, I can click on account. And as I scroll down, I can change my frequency to something else. Oh, I actually want it to be every three months or every 12 months. And again, you as the admin created these specific choices. Maybe you just want it every six and 12 months. If that's the case, you would just see six and 12 here. So that is that. So we're gonna go ahead and Actually, I'm going to let this one ride. We've already um, created the uh, membership there. So let's go back into Commerce 7. And to refresh my screen. And then we're going to go back into Members. And there we go. There is, there it is. And now I can, again, I can, you know, do everything I can within a traditional club at this point. It's, it's just, it's here so that we can, um, we can process it. Uh, as with the traditional club, um, after this one that goes out two days after sign up, um, folks will receive those communications that are uh, two weeks prior so that they can make any changes that they'd like. Um, and then two days prior, they will be notified that it's going to be processed. Um, any shipments with issues, you will see those here and can address those as needed. Um, as far as that goes, I think that's all that I had on that piece. Um, Margaret, anything else that I'm missing here that's important to note? Um, no, I don't think so, but I do have a question that I just wanted to quickly address from Ken as well, just while yeah. we're on this, this page of things. Um, so basically Ken is asking any suggested cadences for subscription shipments uh, for weather holds. So what I wanted to mention here, so there are two ways you can kind of manage this. Um, so basically if you are signing up for a subscription club, um, your customer would either sign up on the admin side of things or on the website. Uh, so on the admin side, what you could do when you're signing up this customer is set the first process date to be the date that you would like it to ship shortly after. Um, and that would mean that the shipment won't process until the date that you've specified as the process date. On the front end, however, if the customer is signing up, they will automatically process two weeks after the sign up. Um, and that's something we've designed intentionally. However, we understand that some wineries do like to ship based on, on weather conditions as well. Um, so an alternative way to manage this is if you're using a fulfillment house, uh, you can work with them on delaying those shipments. Um, you could also use your ship compliance settings and set that status to payment accepted versus sent to fulfillment. Um, so what that means is that your shipments would flow over to ship compliant. However, However, they wouldn't flow to the fulfillment house, which means they kind of sit there until you manually push them to the fulfillment house. Um, so you could kind of wait until the weather was the appropriate temperature and then go ahead and process those orders for fulfillment after. Um, but those would be the, the two ways you could manage that. So you could have the club just available in admin if you wanted to sign people up in the tasting room and have this available and then set specific process dates. Or if you wanted to allow that flexibility on the front end for your customers, which we do highly recommend, um, that would be uh, processed two weeks after the fact. So Ken, I'm happy to answer any additional questions about that and even set up a call to walk through that as well too after the fact, um, but let me know if, if anything comes up in terms of any additional questions. Uh, and then I did have another question here just quickly from Kenny. Um, so are there still plans to include on the front end back end the ability to exclude include specific wines from the algorithm per member? This was demonstrated at C7 Live and appeared as a thumbs up down buttons on the front end. Um, so Kenny, I'm actually not 100% sure on that to be 100% transparent with you. Um, I will review that with Andrew and Andrea on the product team to see if I can get a response for you and I'll send that back out to you. 
Kenny, do you mind just putting your email in the chat here so I can follow up with you on that? Awesome. Um, and then Libby is asking, what does shipment with issues mean? Um, so essentially, if you're out of inventory, if uh, you have anything really going wrong with a shipment, if you don't ship to a specific state and they've selected a product that has additional compliance restrictions, um, if they have a credit card decline and they haven't updated their card information, anything like that would cause uh, shipments with issues to, to exist there. So you could kind of take a look at those ones, make the adjustments as needed on the back end, and then allow those to process. Awesome. Thank you, Kenny. I see that in here now. And Annette, is admin notified of signups and upcoming shipments? Um, so let's take a look here. I'm just going to look at the notification. So this would all be determined by the notifications within the admin panel in the settings. So I'm just going to take a quick look for you here to see which ones would be shown. Um, so new club membership signup, admin would be notified for that one. Um, but for upcoming shipments, no, they wouldn't. Um, so it's definitely important to keep an eye on the step three of this package, just so you can see who's processing. Um, of course, you can always see this in your order history as well. Um, so those are kind of the two recommendations there for that one. Awesome. Um, and then, sorry, one more question, Brittany, before you continue. No um, Ken is asking, could you have promotions tied to different levels? i.e. $20 flat rate on three bottles and shipping comped on larger packages. Um, so six, nine, 12 bottles. So let me see here. I believe so. Um, and this is something that we can work with you specifically on as well, Ken. Um, so essentially you would just need to set up the quantities um, for specific products within your promotions. And additionally, we do offer the ability to offer promotions based on the frequency of, of a client's shipments. Um, so if the customer wants to order on a monthly basis, you could offer them a slightly higher discount than you would someone who orders on a six month basis. Um, so Ken, I'm happy to follow up with you uh, explaining exactly how you can accomplish this. And I plan to right after this call. Uh, so Brittany, feel free to go ahead. I think I answered everything that's in here and then I'll follow up with both Ken and Kenny on the promotion question and the uh, question on the specific excluding and including of wines on the package. Thank you, thank awesome. you, thank you. <clears throat> so I just finally want to talk about, um, you know, this is a very different way of thinking about um, clubs. And one thing that you can do that is just try it. Basically, you don't have to, it, can't, it doesn't need to be all or nothing. You can have all your traditional clubs and then you can maybe try a little subscription club and you know, put, dip your toe in the water a little bit and think about it a little bit. I know that when I was, um, when I was at, uh, at the winery where I was working, we had, a an allocation a very you know highly allocated estate wine um type of club very traditional and then um but we also had these wines that were you know widely distributed we had them all year long they were the sonoma coast um you know we had several you know we had sonoma coast uh chardonnay pinot and um i believe we had a cab as well and those we had all year long and we were we were often looking at each other in our sales meetings going okay how are we going to move some of this right sometimes you're just like we gotta move some wine so if you have these wines that are there all the time then why not put them in a subscription club and see what happens you know the the sonoma coast wines that i was talking about were uh, relatively affordable and ones that folks really liked having you know, every day kind of, oh, just, oh, I got to run over to a, um, a housewarming real quick and, you know, grab that or just for dinner at home. I mean, they were great for that. So it might be a situation where someone just wants to have them on hand. So they would like to be a part of a monthly, uh, you know, subscription or um, every other month subscription. So if they always have those wines on hand. So just try it. We would recommend trying it for no less than six months to really see a complete picture of it, of, of, if it's something that works for both your customers and for the winery, because it is, again, a little bit different. Um, but try it. I mean, why not? 
it's it's just a, it's a it's a new way of thinking about it um but it is super effective and it's uh something to try for sure and that's about all i have awesome we did have one other question come in from libby as well cool. um and she's asking can you change the bottle minimum depending on the frequency of shipments um so the bottle minimum is actually going to be set for the whole club unfortunately it's not uh, specific to frequency um, at this time. And I'm thinking we can probably demo the POS um, club sign up and then um, marking it as a club shipment if you'd like. Um, so if you want to just navigate over to the POS, I can walk you through that, Brittany. Yep. Move our beautiful faces here. One sec. Okay, POS. And Annette is asking is there a way to charge a membership monthly fee, subscription membership? Um, so there's no way to charge a monthly fee per se, um, but if you're charging them for the wine, um, that would kind of be how you accomplish that. So that's what, uh, that's what I would recommend there. Um, any success stories you can share from Ken or subscription club numbers as a percent of traditional club numbers? Yeah, so we actually have a really great video. Um, Bingham when, uh, Wineries as well in Texas is uh, a really success, a big success story here. Um, so I can send you that link, Ken, so you can take a look. Basically, they saw a massive increase in their club signups when they gave their club members the additional flexibility allowed for the frequency of shipments and the product selection. Um, and that's just increased their sales. So they've added a significant number of clubs since coming onto Commerce 7. Um, we really love them. I'm not sure if Betty's here. She comes to our free training Fridays a lot. Um, but yeah, they've, they've seen a, a huge success with their traditional and subscription clubs, both of them, um, but definitely with their subscription. So I can send you the kind of the case study we did with them. And then you can take a look at that, Ken. Awesome. Okay. Which one? Okay. Yeah. Direct me. Okay. So we'll go to the club at the bottom right here, the little diamond icon. That's we're going to add. It. Sorry. Our faces. I need to minimize. There we go. Now I can <laughs> oh, see good. it. There we go. And then, so what we'll do is we're going to sign up this club member um, for what? this. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then you go ahead and, and sign them up. So you can mark the first order as their shipment. So you can add the membership to the order right now and then add whatever items you'd like to the, to the cart here, Britt. All right. And I'll do one of each. Perfect. All right. Awesome. And then when you go to pay, this will actually process as their first club order. So you can go ahead with uh, the cart on file or cash, however you'd like to pay for it. Just do cash. Perfect. Awesome. And then if we go ahead and go to the order, we can see that the channel, if you scroll down just a little bit, the channel is the club. Um, and that's how you would accomplish that in the POS right now. And Annette is asking for the video for the Bingham uh, webinar. So I'll find that right now on our website, just while we wait for some more questions and I'll put it in the chat here for everybody. And while we're waiting for any more questions as well. I just want to let you know that um, you can always head out to our documentation. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you just type in subscription, you'll see this creating a subscription club, and it takes you step by step how to do this. I'm also going to be creating some, um, some videos to be in here as well. So that will be happening probably over the next week. Just taking one second here, sorry. Oh, no problem. Sifting through our videos. Um, also, if you ever want to look at past free training Fridays, you can put in free up here and there they are. And uh, it's like, yeah, Blast Weeks hasn't gotten in there yet, but we're usually very uh, good about getting those up right away. And so you can always go there and take a look at the other free training Fridays. You know what? I am having a little bit of difficulty finding this right now. But 
I'm wondering if they moved it to our YouTube channel, which is new. Sorry, our marketing oh. team is making some big moves. So they definitely made a move this around on me. So I will follow up with, with you, Annette, and as well with you, Ken, on this. Annette, do you mind just putting your email in the, the chat here as well so I can send you a quick message about that? And anyone else who would like this, please put your email in and I'll send it over to you. And uh, the next question here, Lee, off topic question. So my wired credit card terminal is not allowing tap to pay. Is there a toggle or process to allow this function? So that would be something we would love to investigate with you. Um, I'm not 100% sure why it wouldn't be working, but I can have Jason or Colin on our IT team take a look at that with you, Lee. Um, so could you send us an email at support at commerce7.com with the details of, of when that's happening? And if it's all the time, just let us know that. Um, and then we'll have Colin and Jason investigate that with you to see if we can resolve that issue. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. And I will send that over to you, Annette. I'm not sure if Erica is your first name or it's Annette, but either way, Annette or Erica, I will send you that email. Awesome. I don't see any other questions in here right now. But we can wait just one more moment just in case something trickles in. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Um, so thank you everybody for joining. I will be following up with both Kenny and with Ken uh, with those questions that you guys had once I have those the video link for you and then that answer from the product team, Kenny. Um, and I'll let you guys know on those details as soon as I have them. Um, and yeah, if anything else comes up, we're always available at support at commerce7.com. If anyone would like a screen share to walk through any features or anything like that, please let us know. We're happy to arrange that with you um, as always. Awesome. Thank you, Great guys. Job, Bye. Bye.